we are talking about the Western movie Cassidy Red. Now this one is directed and written by Matt Knudsen. Now Cassidy Red is essentially, I would, I would say you can best describe it as Red Sonia in the Old West. This is a tale of a woman who has been wronged by uh, a particular guy in her life and he's, he's kind of risen to a kind of a, a point of power and she decides she's going to kind of like essentially train herself to become a, a kind of a, a, a vengeful hell hath no fury like a woman scorns and uh, obviously get her kind of revenge on the man she thinks has wronged her. So uh, Cassidy Red, who is actually blonde uh, until right the climax of the movie while, when she dyes her hair red and then why didn't she just have red hair the whole time? There you go. Um, it's actually made as a student film for a, I think it's UCLA, uh, some kind of like project film. Uh, so it's actually a college film, uh, but it's obviously, you know, ready to watch now. So it's actually, to be fair, considering this, this is actually um, a college project, it's actually not a badly made film, I've got to say. Um, I do feel it's quite confidently directed in regards to uh, kind of like camera positioning, lighting, although kind of the, te the, sort of the technical side of stuff. I feel the um, the actual acting here is fairly strong as well. Um, I don't think the the female lead is quite as strong a character as they think she is because she is very much just driven by men uh, here. So uh, maybe, maybe a couple of things by the writing here I feel is a little bit kind of misjudged but you know the acting is good I just I just feel like she's meant to be this very strong female protagonist but she's pretty much um, all her decisions are based on her relationships with men there you go uh, the big thing for me and I feel this is maybe because of the experience is the lack of characterization in the characters with this movie um, we get a variety of sub characters this kind of this friend uh, for example this kind of who is this uh, friend slash kind of adoptive sister of this Cassidy Red's character who gets literally zero uh, kind of like characterization but we kind of she has a kind of a fairly pivotal part in the film um, our kind of antagonist if you like is actually wronged by our two protagonists at the kind of the um, uh, at the beginning of the movie and we don't, we don't feel like we kind of are getting enough backstory from him to kind of really make you feel like you should be rooting against him because um, we're just told like our exposition you know he can be a little bit of a bastard or whatever but we never really see it uh, and even our main characters I feel are somewhat kind of flat in their kind of their um uh, the characterization. So this is where the real problem is for me. I feel maybe the directing is is reasonably strong, but the writing and the kind of the story structure here is where this maybe is falling down for me. It's certainly not a bad film. It has quite a uh, a good kind of action sequence till the end, but it's more of a drama, more of a kind of um, uh, almost a romance to a certain degree. Um, and I, and I feel this this the, our, our kind of central character, um, Joe uh, Joe Cassidy is not quite as strong as she could have been and I would have liked to have seen her be a little bit more independent rather than really kind of being driven to her needs by or, and pushed by the men in her life if that makes sense because it's clearly this is meant to be this like this, this kick-ass female hero but she is just uh, doing things for the guy she fancies or she's pushed by her father etc etc so I don't know it, it just felt you know she did it for like a character in her own right if that makes sense but it's certainly um not a bad western certainly obviously for a uh, an entry a film in, in someone's early in their career but i don't think it's the character is quite as as interesting as it wants to be and the story just really isn't all of that you know all of that interesting to begin with although it's fairly well made and watchable uh, and well acted so um you know i'll give this movie a, a a six out of ten i would say it's a fairly good movie for someone obviously young in their career but it is no classic and i don't think it's, it's something that's going to be uh particularly re-watched shall we say six out of ten for me and i feel i'm being fairly generous on that mark have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now mm -hmm.